Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It seems like rats are starting to abandon thinking ship in Ukraine. And the first one who jumped uh, was uh, Reznikov. If you remember Reznikov, the former Ukrainian uh, defense minister, he was fired because of some abuses in the defense ministry. He was not charged with anything. Well, how can he be? He's part of the enterprise. Uh, so uh, he's gone. It's okay. Another Ukrainian, Umyarov, was appointed from uh, uh, Crimea. He's a Tatar, but hey, he's Ukrainian. And it seems like Danilov, another, he's Ukrainian, he was uh, dismissed from his position of top security advisor, blah, blue, 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 national security, big shot. And he was catapulted, clomp, to um, the ambassadorship position. Where? In the Republic of Moldova, hmm. which I call an artificial creation. And I will explain why. Hey. Hold your horses, I will explain. So Danilov was catapulted, and I covered that in a video a few minutes ago. Zelensky also fired four, four advisors, one being Serhi, a friend of a longtime friend, an associate of Mr. Zelensky. Go and check him out, who he is, according to the Jewish Telegraphic Agency. All right, so what do we have here? We have Mr. Danilov, a person that I really, really disliked uh, for subjective reasons. Um, objectives and sub objective and subjective. Objective because I listened to his statements and I was like, ah, weasel, 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 weasel. And then by uh, subjective because I don't like his appearance. That's something, I don't know, for me is very, I don't know. I don't like the guy. It gives me a little bit of uh, mm, this guy. Mm. But that, as I said, that's subjective. So let's see what's going on over here. So we have a new voice of Ukraine. Zelensky appoints Danilov as ambassador to Moldova. I will explain and I will show you where Moldova and what could be the implications. And here we have this lad. And uh, right there, baby doll for you. Hey, what's up? Suck that belly, baby doll. And then we have, oh, he's like this guy. <laughs> or like this guy. <laughs> Rub, pam, pam. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah, right here. Huh? <laughs> you can't. Hey, Tommy, what's going on, my Welsh friend? I wished. I saw him in concert about, what, four times or something? I wished. Uh, I saw him looking like this, but nevertheless, uh, voice, voice, voice. Hey, by the way, I'm straight. <laughs> Let's move on. Hey, look at you, uh, Danny Love. Hey, we thought you were, I don't know, Tom Jones. He put his freaking name over there. <laughs> Man, there you go, and there you go. But, uh, well, he wanted this picture, he's got this picture. Oleksiy Danilov, <clears throat> former Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council, NSDC, will be dispatched, whoosh, uh, fast delivery, to serve as Kiev's ambassador to Moldova, President Volodymyr Zelensky said in his March 29th evening address. Zelensky confirmed he had approved Danilov's appointment. And I'm quoting, for us, Moldova is a vi vitally important nation. <laughs> what about Romania? Both in terms of security challenges in the region and in terms of our bilateral relations. We're going to have a war in Moldova, you'll see. A source earlier told a new voice that Zelensky had offered Danilov the position, describing it as a strategically important and critical foreign policy direction. Correct. I totally agree with that. So, let's see where Moldova is. Correct? Correct. Here is Ukrainska, and here you have Moldova, and here you have Romania, and here is the front. So he's going to be appointing this thing here, and here is Transnistria. This is where the Russians are located. Well, don't, do you think these things will be fucked up? Yeah, I think this guy's going get, to get at it. So I'm not going to, I'm going to briefly tell you the history of this, why, how this, this 
half of, or maybe uh, so two thirds of the whole Basarabia, which this was also part of this place, but was taken away as it was taken away by Stalin in 1940 through a ultimatum given to the great country of Romania. And they took this, Chernauts and Northern Bukovina, they took Basarabia, which is this, with this, and then they dismantled it and they gave this to Ukraine. Uh, and um, okay, and they gave this to Ukraine, uh, Soviet Socialist Republic, and they formed this as Moldova Soviet Socialist Republic. Now, the problem is this they could have done that. I mean, it's like you loot someone's property. Let's say you go and say, Hey, Gigi, uh, uh, you give me your uh, Lamborghini. Oh, uh, yeah, it's an ultimatum right here. Okay, we're gonna give it to you. And then I die. Where is the Lamborghini going? Back to the owner. Now, Lamborghini will just sit over there on the side of the road and live on its own. This is Moldova. How is that fair? Well, we know. So, nevertheless, what's going to happen here is going to be going to have big problems in Transnistria all of a sudden. And now that this uh, lad is uh, in business, I'm pretty sure he's going to form in some garbage over there. And we're going to have a little war here guarantee you that i'm 99 percent certain that will happen this is a, a landlocked enclave however you want to call it the russians cannot help them unless they just shoot at uh, moldova from here bang 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 and from here bang 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 and what do you think the moldovans will say uh, nato romania please and romanians yes we help our brothers and sisters all of a sudden uh, where in 1991 moldova should have come back to where it was taken all from Remember? All right. So Danilov is not good news for uh, the Russians, Romanians, for all of us. But hey, I think he's got his assignment and the assignment will be do something over there. And he's going to do. Why? Did you look at his face? Yeah, he's a doer. <laughs> that kind of doer. All right, my friends, here it is. Um, General Zaluzny was uh, catapulted or like that to um, London. Reznikov is somewhere in Ukraine uh, practicing law again <laughs> and find out uh, his uh, longtime friend Serhi is dismissed and he takes his bags and goes probably to I don't know, London, Israel or New York. And more to come, more to come. They will leave little by little with their bank accounts. <laughs> Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just, my friends.